okay yeah today topic is four year series four year series now see you know taylor series right what is taylor series taylor series expansion taylor series expansion of f of x about a point about a point some take uh, a about a point a is what is it is taylor series f of x equal to f of a plus x minus a into f dash a plus x minus a whole square by factorial 2 into f double dash a and so on and uh, so on this is taylor series expansion which is a polynomial which is a series which is a series in terms of polynomial this is a x x power 1 here x square which is a series and a polynomial and a, a polynomial and what is the use of this taylor series we already know in C, uh, series to test the convergence the divergence of the series of some problems we required taylor series expansion for example log 1 plus x um, that sin x expansion right okay and so on and let's see what is the um, drawback of taylor series Taylor series requires derivatives here triple double derivative next triple derivative and so on that means the function f of x must be differentiable many times function f of x must be differentiable many times is it possible always maybe f dash x exist maybe f double dash x exist but f triple derivative may not exist f triple derivative may not exist so the drawback of Taylor series is existence of the derivatives higher order derivatives first point and second point is any function that may be e to exponential function or trigonometric function okay inverse trigonometric function sine inverse x uh, logarithmic functions all these functions are expressed in s yes, expressed as polynomial as a series of polynomial series of polynomial okay that means the sin x in terms of polynomial x minus uh, what is the formula sin x expansion x minus x cube by 3 something okay similarly log 1 plus x expansion x minus x square by 2 that means the series is possible uh, using taylor's method in terms of polynomials only but there are so many cases where when we when we solve the partial differential equation when we solve the partial differential equation partial differential equation means what you know ordinary differential equation in intermediate level ordinary differential equation that variable separable method right homogeneous non-homogeneous linear differential equations Bernoulli differential equations okay now in solving pd pd means what here for example this is one equation dou u by dou t equal to some alpha square into dou square u by dou x square here this is the dependent variable u depends on what u depends on what there are two independent variables t and x u depends on two variables when your dependent variable is in a differential equation in a differential equation if if the dependent variable u depends only on one independent variable for example t or x only one independent variable then that is called ordinary differential equation but in a differential equation when the dependent variable u is depends on more than one independent variable more than one independent variable then the differential equation is called partial differential equation so differential equations are two types one is ordinary differential equation another one is partial differential equation right already you know some of the methods to solve ODE but when we solve this partial differential equations okay in solving in solving 
partial differential equations we require we require a series a series in terms of in terms of trigonometric functions trigonometric functions trigonometric functions we require a series in terms of what not polynomials not polynomial not in terms of x i required series in terms of that means f of x series that means f of x series in terms of what trigonometric functions in particular what type of trigonometric functions sines and cosines only sines and uh, cosines only so i required i required a function trigonometric series expansion like this some cos x um, cos 3x uh, and so on nobody is there now in waiting room yes now f of x equal sin x and so on so one in solving partial differential equation particularly this equation is there na do u by do t equal to alpha square into do square u by do x square this is called heat equation this is called heat equation one dimensional heat equation one dimensional heat equation what it represents one dimensional heat equation there is a bar bar means a rod there is a bar having end points x equal to 0 and x equal to l therefore the length of the rod is l the length of the rod is l okay and i know the temperature i know the temperature u this temperature in this bar is u of x comma t at this point what is the point zero so u depends on how many values two x and t so at x equal to 0 this is temperature take some a and at this point u of l comma t this is b okay this is the structure actually so what is the differential partial differential equation do u by do t equal to alpha square into do square u by do x square subject to what conditions one condition is at x equal to 0 another condition is at x equal to l at x equal to l and another condition is initial temperature initial temperature means what at a time t equal to 0 initial x as is well at a time t equal to 0 i know the temperature something uh, you can take c so i have to solve this partial differential equation subject to these three conditions subject to these three conditions in the next semester you will get this partial differential equations subject to these three conditions then in solving this partial differential equation we require a series in terms of we require a series in terms of a series require a series in terms of we require a series in terms of series in terms of trigonometric functions in terms of trigonometric functions this is the basic idea of fourier series once again Uh, in sol main purpose of fourier series is how this one exists how this was developed because of solving partial differential equations in particular the in the modeling of heat equation and next one one more is there wave equation is also there what is a wave equation do square u by do x square equal to some c square into do square u by do x square this is one dimensional wave equation okay and uh, in solving this one dimensional heat equation wave equation and a laplace equation you know what is laplace equation in physics you may come across this one do square u by do x square plus do square u by do y square equal to 0 one can say del square equal to 0 okay in solving all these equations we require a series in terms of trigonometric functions and that series in trigonometric functions is named as fourier series in particular the trigonometric series means which involves only sines and cosines not tans and any other trigonometric function only sines and cosines why only why sine and cosine let us see the first one orthogonal functions 
orthogonal functions. What is the definition of orthogonal functions? Let, uh, let me write yi. Let y a of x i equal to 0 to n. y a of x i equal to or 1 to n, doesn't matter. 1 to n means what? y1 of x, y2 of x, and so on, y1 of x. It is a set. Let be a set of be a set of functions. Be a set of functions defined over the interval. The orthogonal functions defined on particular interval over the interval over the interval 0 to 2 pi. Let me consider or let me generalize this. Now y 0 to 2 pi. Let me generalize. Uh, defined over a to b. Defined over a to b or the interval a to b. Then then if then if see the conditions integral a to b integral a to b the product i am taking y mx into y nx that means what product of two different functions integration of product of two different functions over the interval a to b over the interval a to b it is equal to zero for m not equal to n what is this both are different functions ymx ynx are product of two different functions and is equal to some constant let me take that constant as a a is what constant it is fixed constant constant its value is constant when m equal to n m equal to n stands for what if i put m equal to n here ynx into ynx means product of same functions product of same function integration product of same function integration over a to b if this condition is satisfied once again consider set of functions and integration of the product of the functions is equal to zero when the functions are different and when the functions are same the product integration of this product must be not zero this is constant not equal to zero not equal to zero then if this condition is satisfied then the set then the set of functions y a x i equal to 1 to n is set to be is set to be set of orthogonal functions set of orthogonal functions set of orthogonal functions and uh, these functions y a x or one can write y 1 x y 2 x and so on are called orthogonal functions are called orthogonal functions over what interval over the interval a to b over the interval a to b once again the definition i am considering some set of functions finite number of set of functions or maybe infinite also doesn't matter maybe infinite also but what property must be satisfied integration of the product of the function equal to zero if the functions are different if the functions are same integration of the product of the function not equal to zero it must be a fixed constant then the given functions are said to be orthogonal to each other orthogonal to each other now another one if integral a to b integral a to b y n x into y n x y n x into y n x means what m equal to n case m equal to n case that is integral a to b y n x plus one whole square dx in particular see actually what this value actually we here a is the value but if that a is particularly one if i get one integration of this result is one then then the functions are said to be the functions are said to be orthonormal functions orthonormal functions orthonormal functions uh, do you need any doubts in this concept orthogonal functions
is that clear concept is clear now okay if any doubt still it, it will be clear in this problem see show that show that one uh, cos x cos 2x and so on sin x sin 2x and so on over 0 to 2 pi is orthogonal is orthogonal find its orthonormal set find its orthonormal set this is the question okay now how many functions are here infinitely many functions are one can take the set as like this one can take the set as like this cos and x simply sin and x and is from what zero to infinity when n equal to zero this is one n equal to one cos x sin x n equal to two cos 2x sin 2x and so on okay one can instead of this big set one can represent this short notation also now solution first um, first how many let me see how many different functions are there still? what is the given set one is one cos x is another different function cos 2x is also another different function sin x sin 2x and so on right this is the given set is the given set defined over defined over 0 to 2 pi 0 to 2 pi now let me check this property what is the property this property okay integration between the limits product of two different functions let me consider product of two different functions first case 0 to 2 pi how many first let me consider 1 into cos x what is this is 1 and cos x both are different functions both are different functions therefore what is the answer must be it must be zero and uh, if it is one into cos 2x zero one into cos 3x zero so i will take generalization cos nx one into cos nx i will take okay so in product of one into cos nx all these functions will come all these functions will come okay this is one idea so let me consider first the product of two different functions 1 into cos nx 1 into cos nx what is the cos nx integration sin nx over n between the limits 0 to 2 pi so 1 by n sin 2 n pi minus sin 0 0 anyway sin n pi 0 so this value 0 and next one 0 to 2 pi same logic for sin nx 1 into sin x 1 into sin 2x 1 into sin 3x generalization 1 into sin nx what is sin nx uh, integration minus cos nx over n between the limit 0 to 2 pi so minus 1 by n this upper limit cos 2n pi minus 1 what is cos even pi plus 1 cos even pi plus 1 so 1 minus 1 this value is also 0. Any other product with 1? I am taking with 1 into another function. 1 into another function. Right? So this property is satisfied. Another one, 1 into same function. I have to consider. 1 into 1, same function. Okay. I am fixing 1 first. Next, I am changing this function. So I am getting 0. Next one, I am taking 1 into the same function 1, dx. Obviously, what is this? x x between 0 to 2 pi so 2 pi which is not equal to 0 which is not equal to 0 the first condition is over now coming to second one let me consider instead of 1 let me take sin nx already sin nx into 1 already this is over so i have to take what sin nx into cos cos mx different function okay you one can take one can ask why not sin nx cos nx yes and remember all of you one more important point here the point is here this is m m equal to n means y nx into y nx it means y nx is same function unique function 
m not equal to n means what product of two different functions product of two different functions here if i consider this as n this is not the case m equal to n because sin nx into cos nx sin cosine both are different functions so it is not the case m equal to n it is also equal to m not equal to n remember this point on that's why i, uh, I told integration of product of different functions equal to zero product of same functions not equal to zero now coming to this let me consider here generalization mx m stands for another one so sine into cosine dx what is this integration if i take this integration uh, multiply divided by 2 then okay 0 to 2 pi 2 uh, sine nx cos mx dx so 2 sin a cos b 2 sin a cos b what is the formula 2 sin a cos b formula sin a plus b so i will write n plus nx okay better uh, doesn't matter plus sin a minus b a value n n minus m x is common okay 2 sin a cos b formula next one let me integrate what is sine integration cosine m plus n x whole by m plus n minus cosine n minus m x by n minus m one can write here instead of n plus m n plus m you can write this is between 0 to 2 pi this is between 0 to 2 pi that is equal to minus is common minus is common here so this value is cos m plus nx by n plus m plus cos n minus m x by n minus m between 0 to 2 pi. Now let me substitute the limits 1 over 2 minus 1 over 2. First upper limit 2 pi in entire this one in entire this one. So cos in place of x 2 pi. So I can write 2 into m plus n pi by n plus m plus cos 2 into n minus m pi by n minus m. This is upper limit minus. Lower limit 0, 0 in place of x. So cos 0 value 1. So 1 by n plus m plus 1 by n minus m. This whole bracket close. Upper limit in one bracket, lower limit in one bracket. Okay, now this is minus 1 by 2. And uh, what is cos 2 into something pi, even pi? What is cos even pi? Cos n pi value minus 1 whole power n. So cos even pi, cos 2n pi is definitely positive. So this value is what? 1 by n plus m. This is also even pi, cos even pi plus 1 by n minus m minus 1 by n plus m plus 1 by n minus m so what is this value zero this implies this value zero that implies zero to two pi sine nx into cos mx dx product of two different functions zero okay right now what is another case same function same function means m equal to n sin nx into sin nx dx sin nx into sin nx dx so 0 to 2 pi sin square nx dx 0 to 2 pi sin square nx dx what is sin square nx sin square theta 1 minus cos 2 theta uh, 1 minus cos 2 nx by 2 correct what is cos 2x formula 1 minus 2 sin square x yeah by 2 dx that is equal to now equal to uh, 1 by 2 outside integral 0 to 2 pi 1 minus cos 2 nx so this is 1 over 2 this is x and the sine cos integration sine 2 nx by 2n over 0 to 2 pi now 1 by 2 first upper limit in one flower bracket 2 pi 
and uh, sin if i put in place of x2 pi sin 4n pi what is that sin n pi is always zero minus lower limit zero minus zero lower limit here like zero and sin zero zero so what is this value finally 2 pi by 2 that is pi that is pi therefore what is 0 to 2 pi sin nx into sin nx dx is pi not equal to 0 this is one point and 1 into 1 also not 0 remember what is all 0 to 2 pi 1 into 1 dx is also not 0 what is this value x 2 pi i think 2 pi not equal to 0 similarly similarly what is 0 to 2 pi same logic now third case third case second case is also over sine into cos is over different functions sine into 1 is over sine into sine is over third one cos nx into different function already what is the first different function one already we did next uh, this is sin mx it is similar to what it is similar to what cos sin nx into cos mx so zero and uh, product of same functions what zero to two pi cos nx into cos nx cos nx into cos nx this is zero to two pi cos square nx and uh, what is cos square nx 0 to 2 pi 1 plus cos 2 nx by 2 dx so 1 over 2 integration for what 1 plus cosine 2 nx dx right so that is equal to 1 over 2 this is x and uh, plus sine 2 nx over 2n between 0 to 2 pi between 0 to 2 pi now this is 1 by 2 first upper limit in one bracket 2 pi in place of x so 2 pi plus sine 4 n pi 0 minus lower limit 0 x plus low 0 and sine 0 0 this is over so this is also what pi this is also what pi therefore integral 0 to 2 pi cos nx into cos nx dx equal to what pi which is not equal to zero last statement since the functions the functions what are the functions one uh, cos x cos 2x and so on sin x sin 2x and so on satisfies satisfies the conditions of conditions of orthogonality conditions of orthogonality the given set is the given set is orthogonal the given set is orthogonal this is the conclusion okay and uh, we find ortho normal set also it is given and uh, for that clearly we have clearly we have ortho normal set means what ortho normal set means definition product of same function integration must be one this one product of same functions integration what is this value must be one not a constant but it should be one exactly one so for that clearly we have what is the first one zero to two pi one into one product of same function what is this two pi what is this two pi but I have to get one here. For that, what we have to do to get orthonormal set, if I take two pi this side, one by two pi into one equal to one I am getting, but this is not product of same function, product of same function. So to get product of same function, I will write this two pi as like this, one by root two pi, one by root two pi, so that the function must be same. Then it's a definitely its value integration is one. This is first observation. And similarly, the second one, what is that zero to two pi sine nx into sine nx dx. What is this value? We got pi. So take this pi this side. That implies zero to two pi sine nx into sine nx 
dx i have to get one here so if i write pi here this is not product of same function so i will write root pi into root pi again it becomes pi so this is one similarly 0 to 2 pi what is the cos cosine nx also same cosine nx by root pi cosine nx by root pi dx equal to 1 okay so this function is 1 this function is 1 and uh, what is this function this function is 1 so what are the functions here now the product of, this is one function this is another function this is another function therefore therefore 1 by root 2 pi next sin nx by root pi cos nx by root pi this is n is from 1 to infinity is the set of orthonormal is the set of orthonormal this is the problem okay so remember and uh, the note is here the remark is the set one tan nx you can consider sin nx is not orthogonal is not orthogonal you can check similarly others similarly others only only one and a sin nx cos nx that set is satisfies the properties of orthogonal when the given set of functions are orthogonal then one can write a function in terms of trigonometric series in terms of trigonometric series now any doubts in the concept of orthogonal all of you any doubts Sir, the can you explain is clear. problem is clear sir can you once explain first difference here? which first one case. first case sir in this problem first case case one yes one into what is no, this sir. first case actually what first are the functions second one, second one sir. yes second case second yeah this one yes sir. yeah yeah second case seeing sin nx into cos mx I, I have to consider what orthogonal property means integration of product of different functions is zero so already this uh, first one this uh, integral sin nx into what is the first different function one already we did this in case one this part is over okay so another chance is what after one there is another function cos nx or cos mx even if i consider cos nx it is different from sin so the answer of integration of sin nx into cos nx is also zero is also zero so generalization product of two different functions sin nx into cos mx i have considered is that clear now sin into cosine integration uh, as usual intermediate technique multiply divided by 2 2 sin a cos b formula 2 sin a cos b formula sin a plus b plus sin a minus b and taking integration and taking integration sin integration minus cosine and i'm substituting limits after getting integration in place of x i have to substitute limits fine yes, okay i'm taking minus common here now coming to this 2 pi 2 pi i have written 2 pi okay 2 into something pi is always even cos even pi is 1 this is also 1 so i have written cos even pi this is 1 this total value is 1 cos cos of even in number into pi is always positive so 1 1 both are same 0 and uh, so this part 0 and if i consider product of same function sin nx into sin nx then sine square applying the formula trigonometric formula and taking integration i am getting value as pi value as pi okay similarly similar case for this cos nx into sin mx definitely zero and a cos into cosine we are getting pi value and to get orthogonal ortho normal ortho normal means what product of same functions must be one but we are getting here two pi so i am taking this two pi onto the left side okay when i take left side these two functions must be same product of same that means i have written 2 pi as square root of 2 pi into square root of 2 pi then function becomes 1 by root 2 pi same logic for this 
So what are the orthonormal? One by root two pi, sine n x by root pi, cos n x by root pi. This is set of orthonormal set, and this property is true only for cosines and sines, not for tans, inverse functions like that. Sir, yeah. this any, ortho any this orthonormal functions there need not be a subset of the set given in question, sir. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Sir. Need not be a subset, right? Okay. Mm. Okay. Now, now this is based on this, right? Now, based on this, mm, let me take here. Yeah. Now, Fourier series. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Sir, can you please explain the note once again? Note. Yeah, I didn't understand the note, sir. Can you, uh, can you please explain? Note. No, the down one, sir. Note, note. note. One tan x and sin x. Yeah. yeah. See, what we, I have considered what said one cos and x and the sin and x, right? And is from one to infinity. Okay. Only this set satisfies orthogonal property. Okay. And if I instead of cosine, if I take tan or any other cot function, cosecant function, secant function, okay, this set is not orthogonal. You can check. That means integration 0 to 2 pi sine nx into tan nx. Tan nx. If we consider this, definitely you will not get 0. It is not equal to 0, something. Okay. Got it? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, now, right. Now, coming to Fourier series. Let me start with another page. Fourier series. If, let like, uh, 1, comma, cos nx, comma, sin nx. N is from what? 1 to infinity. Already 1 is included, so 0 is not taken here. Cos nx, sin nx. Be a set of orthogonal functions. Set of orthogonal functions. Then, then, a function, a function, f of x, function f of x defined in the interval c comma c plus 2 pi what is interval hey someone mute who is that yeah who is that then a function f of x defined in the interval c comma c plus 2 pi what is the length of this interval what is the length of this interval Two pi. Two, two pi. Two pi. Remember this. Remember this. Fourier series is defined in the interval of length two pi. That is called period. That is called period two pi. Fourier series is defined in the period two pi only. Two pi only. Remember this. This is standard notation. Two pi only. Then a function f of x defined in the interval can be expressed. Can be expressed as now can be expressed as f of x equal to a naught by 2 a naught by 2 plus summation a n cos n x and is from 1 to infinity plus summation b n sin n x and is from 1 to infinity expressed as f of x equal to a naught by 2 plus summation a n cos n x plus summation b n sin n x. This is equation 1, which is called, which is called Fourier series, Fourier series of f of x, Fourier series of f of x. That is clearly, what is f of x? First one is what? Constant, a naught by 2. If I expand this, what I'm getting a1 cos x, 
plus a2 cos 2x and so on plus b1 b1 sin x plus b2 sin 2x and so on this is expansion of fourier series f of x in terms of what cosines and the sines trigonometric functions cosines and sines this is called fourier series now there is a doubt what is a naught what is a n and what is b n here we have to find those values a naught a n b n are called euler coefficients euler coefficients are fourier coefficients fourier coefficients right and uh, how to calculate this evaluation of constants now how to calculate evaluation of a not a n b n okay now first one a not first one a not how to calculate a not see treat this a not by 2 as a single term treat this a not by 2 as a single term okay what is its coefficient a not by 2 coefficient 1 a not by 2 coefficient 1 see i am telling the logic how to evaluate first one a not is required treat a not by 2 as a term single term and a, take its coefficient what is its coefficient is 1 then multiply equation 1 by equation 1 by this coefficient 1 then integrate on both sides between the limit c to c plus 2 pi for example if I required a n, what is a n coefficient cos n x? Multiply this entire equation 1 by cos n x, then integrate. You will get a n. If I want b n, what is its coefficient b n coefficient sin n x? Multiply sin e equation 1 by sin n x on both sides, then integrate. Okay, so the first one a naught, I'm telling what is this? Multiply equation 1 by 1 1 and take integration and take integration between c to c plus 2 pi between c to c plus 2 pi then 1 in goes to what this is integral c to c plus 2 pi f of x dx equal to a naught by 2 integral 1 dx right c to c plus 2 pi plus summation n is 1 to infinity a n integration with respect to x therefore integration is only for x terms c to c plus 2 pi 1 into cos n x dx right plus summation n is 1 to infinity b n integral 1 into sin n x integral 1 into sin nx c to c plus 2 pi c to c plus 2 pi and uh, what is this length uh, c to c plus 2 pi 2 pi c to c plus 2 pi means it is of length 2 pi already we know that product of two different functions 1 into cos nx 1 into cos nx integration between the limit 0 to 2 pi on over the period of length 2 pi is 0 product of different this is also product of different 0 right and 1 dx what is 1 dx? Let us see. Now this is c to c plus 2 pi f of x dx equal to a naught by 2. This is x. x between what? c to c plus 2 pi plus 0 plus 0. Product of different functions integral by using the orthogonal property. Now this is equal to a naught by 2 upper limit minus lower limit. So c gets cancelled. 2 pi will be there. And uh, 2, 2 gets cancelled pi this implies what is a naught value 1 over pi integral c2 c plus 2 pi f of x dx f of x dx this is the first euler portion you have to remember this always remember euler's formula equation 1 and uh, the quotients a naught a n and uh, b n now a n as i told you what is a n quotient uh, what is a n quotient cos n x so multiply equation 1 by cos n x 
multiply equation 1 by cos and x on both sides of one on both sides and integrate and integrate between what limits between c to c plus 2 pi then equation 1 implies integral c to c plus 2 pi f of x is there f of x is multiplied by what now it is multiplied by cos and x and uh, a naught by 2 constant so multiplied by cos and x then take the integration this is dx plus now coming to here sigma n is 1 to infinity isn't it right uh, a n a n cos and x is there cos and x is there right and uh, remember in n n is rising from let me take like this this integral c to c plus 2 pi why i'm writing like this c it's n equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n x is the term it is multiplied by cos n x dx and next plus integral c to c plus 2 pi i will write for this summation outside only this is plus summation n is 1 to infinity b n this is what bn sin nx multiplied by cos nx dx. Okay. Why I am writing like this? The first one, a naught by 2. a naught by 2. What is here? There is a 1. Indirectly, there is a 1. 1 into cos nx dx, product of two different functions, 0. This is also sine into cosine. This is also 0. So first term is 0 first term is 0 plus coming to second term see what is here n is from 1 to infinity that means what the terms here just i am writing in another color this expansion a1 into cos x a2 into cos 2x and so on somewhere there will be a n into cos n x and so on this entire multiplied by what cos n x dx right this expansion multiplied by cos and what is this one? What is this becomes integral? This is integration is there. Cos x into cos n x integration zero because cos x is different function. Cos n x is another different function. So zero. And this cos x, cos 2 x into cos n x, this is also zero. Except what? Cos n x into cos n x. It is not zero. So I will write that term only in this expansion. So what is the leftover term? Remaining every term will be zero. A n will be there and integral c to c plus 2 pi cos nx into cos nx will be there remaining every term will be zero and this last one is also zero bn into zero one can write summation summation bn into zero summation bn and this is zero so what is this value this is equal to only one term will be there integral c2 c plus 2 pi cos square nx cos square nx dx and what is this value a n into already we got this one cos square nx is what pi cos square nx is what pi isn't it pi what is this previously also this is 2 pi a naught by 2 correct hmm. now this is a n into pi this is the value uh, of what c to c plus 2 pi f of x into what cos nx f of x into cos nx therefore what is a n value 1 over pi integral c to c plus 2 pi c to c plus 2 pi f of x into cos nx dx f of x into cos nx dx right Okay, similarly, I will write directly now. Similarly, can you guess what is Bn also? Multiply on both sides by sin and x. Therefore, c2 c plus 2 pi f of x into sin and x dx. Sin and x dx. This is Bn. These are the Euler quotients. So finally, I'm writing this entire, what is this? Therefore, therefore, the Fourier series, 
the Fourier series of f of x in c to c plus 2 pi is f of x equal to, you have to remember now, a naught by 2 first term plus summation 1 to infinity a n, what is this? Cos n x plus summation into infinity b n sin n x b n sin n x where where what is a naught value remember what is a naught value 1 over pi integral c to c plus 2 pi this one just f of x f of x dx f of x dx okay next one a n what is a n 1 over pi integral c to c plus 2 pi what is a n quotient cos n x so this f of x is multiplied by what cos n x dx this is the logic to remember and what is bn i will write here bn equal to what 1 over pi integral c to c plus 2 pi what is bn quotient sin n x so f of x multiplied by sin n x dx sin n x dx so this is the formula Fourier series formula and a naught value and this is a n value and this is b n value b n value okay this is the derivation of Fourier series quotients you have to remember this structure Fourier series formula and a naught a n b n formula to solve the problems sir, okay interval will be given 0 to 2 now yeah sir I have a doubt one scroll up Mm -hmm. Where? Somewhat. Ah, uh, sir, wait. Yeah, this sum. Ah, uh, here in the third term, why can't we expand like b one sin x and uh, b two sin two x plus b three sin three x like that, as you did in second term? Yeah, that's what whatever it is. It is zero, no? See, yeah. If you want to expand this, right? This one is multiplied by cos x, right? right hello yes sir. Ah, yes sir now if i expand this this part uh, if i expand that summation what you will get seen uh, b1 plus b2 sin 2x and so on there will be bn sin nx right yes sir n x into cos n x integration also zero that is why i have taken directly zero what is the concept of orthogonality product of two different functions integration over the period 2 pi is always zero okay Understood? Yes, sir. Hello. Yes, is sir. it okay? Sure yes, your doubt is cleared. Yes, sir. Okay, good. Okay, so anyway, last slide. You have... ah. can you show the last slide? What? Hey, I wanted to see the last slide. Sir. Yes. Last slide. Yes. Your Thank voice you. is not audible. Not here. I, I wanted slide. to see the last this slide, sir. Okay. Yes. This is the last slide. Yes, sir. Thank you. Sir, in exam regarding this Fourier series, how questions are asked? Okay. In examinations, from derivation is not there. But procedure uh, problems will be there. We will ask only problems in four year series. Very lengthy problems. Very, very lengthy problems. Be perfect with integration formulae. Biparts formula in particular. Biparts formula and repeated biparts formula. Repeated biparts formula. Do you know repeated biparts? You into v Hello. Integral. Repeated biparts. Do you know? No, sir. Yeah, yeah. You know this formula u into v dx product of two different functions derivative part this is derivative part 
and this is integrating part right u into integral being minus uh yes sir we know only this this is the bipart formula right now what is repeated bipart formula remember all of you repeated bipart formula we need this repeated bipart formula u of x into v of x dx this is the derivative part this is the derivative part okay if the derivative if i increase see u as it is next derivative is there if i increase the derivatives it must goes to zero derivative part goes to zero goes to zero if we take if we take derivatives if we take derivatives then what is the logic here first write the derivative part as it is integration part integration integration part integration minus take the derivative part derivative and uh, this integration part again one more integration plus take the derivative part uh, again for this one one more derivative u double dash and uh, for integrating part one more integration like this until this derivative part goes to zero derivative part goes to zero okay for example see x square into e power x what is this one this is derivative part and this is integrating part first write the derivative part as it is integration of e power x is e power x minus x square derivative is what 2x again in or uh, if i take 2x for example e power 2x by 2 this is integrating x square derivative 2x now this part integration again you write e power 2x by 4 you will get next plus plus minus plus alternate 2x derivative is what 2 and again integration of e power 2x by 4 is 8 next what is the next derivative 2 derivative 0 that means the the, series, the integration stopped here this is called repeated bipart formula okay just you practice this well, with some more problems okay next class next class on next year sir. next class monday is it monday yes monday. next year yeah Uh, advance happen here, sir. Same to you, sir. Happy New Year. Thank you, sir. 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 Thank లిజన్ లిజన్ ఇంటర్మీడియట్ ఎంతో కష్టపడి వచ్చారు డే అండ్ నైట్ కష్టపడ్డారు ఫుల్ లెంత్ లో రైట్ సో స్టడీకి ఫస్ట్ ఇంపార్టెన్స్ సెకండ్ వన్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ కొత్త ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఉంటారు కొంతమంది పాత ఫ్రెండ్స్ కూడా ఉంటారు ఫ్రెండ్షిప్ చేయండి బట్ విత్ ప్యూర్ హార్ట్ గర్ల్స్ బాయ్స్ ఇది ట్రూ ఫ్రెండ్షిప్ చేయండి అనవసరంగా పిచ్చి పిచ్చి ఫ్రెండ్షిప్లు చేయొద్దు మైండ్ అంతా పాడవద్ది మేక్ ఏ ట్రూ ఫ్రెండ్షిప్ ప్యూర్ ఫ్రెండ్షిప్ అండ్ ఎంజాయ్ ఇక ఎటుపడి కరోనా హాలిడేస్ కాబట్టి ఎంజాయ్ ఎట్లా చేస్తారో మైండ్ అంతా ఇంట్లోనే ఉండి బోర్ కొడుతుందేమో కానీ బట్ మేక్ యువర్ మైండ్ వెరీ ఫ్రీ స్పెండ్ విత్ ఫ్యామిలీ చాట్ విత్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఇంతే ఆల్ ది బెస్ట్ ఓకే థ్యాంక్ యూ సార్ థ్యాంక్ యూ సార్ థ్యాంక్ యూ సార్ థ్యాంక్ యూ సార్ ఓకే ఓకే బై excuse me sir yeah sir in alternate series i have a doubt sir in lebnitz series 